if I do say so myself. What do you want? I'll scare NJ. Oh, yes. The lighter color would be more effective. Okay, NJ. My yell on his name will pick you up at seven bells, and you better be on time, baby. Those taxi meters haven't recognized the pressure. I'll be fitting you. Oh, you mean that girl. Now, don't breathe it to a soul, and I'll tip you off to something. That was Special Agent Number 5 on Case 23. <whistles> okay, America! Okay, America! I don't believe it! Register special, Mr. Houston. Deliver to address E only. Well, it must be important. <clears throat> Sign here, please. Hmm? Hello? Hi. Right. Line. We're half an hour late right now. He'll be along, sweetheart. District attorneys don't punch time clocks. Good evening, Mr. Good evening, Mason. Uh, never mind, I'm not staying. Well, oh, there he is now. Well, Lionel, you're not dressed. We're supposed to go to the Green Wall Dinner. Darling, something of the utmost importance has come up. I must talk with your father. Why, of course. Dad? Yes? Yeah. Lionel wants to see you. I'll phone him we can't make it. Thank you, darling. Then after you talk to Dad, we'll hurry up. Good evening, Lionel. Good evening. Why, oh, what's this? Aren't you going? Oh, no. I'd like to talk with you. Certainly, my boy. I'll phone. Thank you. Greenwalds will be disappointed. Yes. Uh, sit down, my boy. Have a cigar? No, thank you. What's on your mind? An hour ago, I received a letter from a dead man. Dead man? Harley Kemp. Oh, speak up. What is it? The letter concerns you. Me? The Cromwell and the Corporation. In what way? You don't know? What the devil are you driving at? Kemp's letter accused you. Accuses me? Of what? This is no time to hide behind evasions. Then don't you. Kemp's confession says that your company has been systematically looted for the past two years. It's a damned lot. I suspected that Harley Kemp confessed it. You accuse me of robbing my own company? You sign papers, okay reports, past statements. Could the condition have existed unless you were a party to it? Why, I... Oh, you're crazy. The truth now would make it a great deal easier for both of us. You? The investigation will take a day to get underway. You have 24 hours in which to cover the shortage. Not that I'm trying to save you, I'm not. But I'm thinking of the people that you've fleeced and robbed. The thousands who lose everything. Every penny they have in the world. Get out of my house. Get out! Why, Dad? Lionel! This idiot accuses me of being a thief. He has the nerve to stand there and tell me that I've robbed my own company. Lionel, are you mad? It's the truth. You accuse my father of being a thief. This is a copy of the letter which proves it. You take that man's word against my father. Well, how would I do... Please leave. Never mind, sweetheart. If he's 
that big a fool, you don't want him. No. No. Hello? Anderson, let me speak to Mr. Gaines. How soon do you expect him? Well, tell him I want to see him. At my home. As soon as he comes in. Yes, this is Mr. Cromwell. And tell him it's very important. Very good, sir. I'll tell Mr. Gaines. <laughs> you need a haircut, Cyclone. Sure. I'm saving up to get one just for you, baby. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Hey, give me that snipe. Hey, when I do a set, I'll join on fire. Hey. Okay, baby. Okay. How are you been working with a speck? What you want to know for? Oh, I don't know. I just thought if he had a first mortgage on you, I didn't want to chisel in. How <laughs> much you don't. <laughs> Whoopee! Calm down, will you, Angel? I want to sing. What are you trying to do? Compromise me? Oh, you're cute, Cyclone. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know the half of us. <laughs> that a threat or a promise? That's a promise, brown eyes. And a terrible word is as good as a terrible bond. <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny if Raymond walks in here now? Yeah. I'm laughing at myself to death. <laughs> 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 hey, don't I'm gonna die ticklish. <laughs> Say, so you gonna quit? All right, Cyclone. <laughs> Say, uh, what would you do if this pig was stepping out on you? I'd go boom, 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 and somebody fall down. I don't want to set any funerals, but you sure two time on your baby. Is that right? With a redhead, too. Is that right? Mm, that's right. Is that right? I wouldn't kid you, that's right. Who is she, Cyclone? No, I don't know. I thought maybe you knew. How should I know? You sort of helped us pick out on that job, didn't you? Job? Oh, you know. <laughs> sure, I know. <laughs> you sure pulled a nate. What? 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 No, you need another drink, baby. She was his girl, but she done him wrong. Hey, gag yourself on that one. Oh, I wish Raymond was here. Oh, now, wasn't that nice? Oh, you know what I mean. This is different. Oh, yeah. I bet you I know what time it is. We got plenty of time, baby. I bet you it's 8.30. Same thing, it's two and a quarter. Chris, leave the Sarah will talk what's coming. Sure is a shame the way Bruno takes advantage of the spake. You and the heat, they all the chances, and Bruno gets all the dough. Oh, I don't know. You don't know what, Brown Eyes. Hey, yes, that's right. Well, didn't you? Hey, you talk just like a copper. Oh, am I insulted? Well, what do you want to ask so many questions for? Well, I don't know. I just got a large bump of curiosity. But curiosity killed a cat. Hmm. <laughs> but let all the fun those cats have. on your earring. Yeah, well, you look somewhere, though. Okay, baby. Okay. Well, why don't you turn on a light? Oh, we don't need any lights, baby. Turn on a light. Hello, Andy. Well, for... I thought I had you tied up. 
I do tricks. So we have time for a little kiss. Oh, a little one now. Well, if I'm not seven different kinds of a sap, 57. You're not mad at me, are you, sucker? Oh, no. Come home at once, daughter. All is forgiven. Here come Chris. Hello, Chris. How are you, Daryl? Well, I'm not so good. I got kind of a funny feeling here in my stomach. Oh, we'll pick that up for you. What does he know? Plenty. Oh, that's too bad. Andy, I always sort of liked you. Where's Houston? I don't know. Well, telephone Cromwell's house, and if he's there, you tell him you're sick. And make him believe it. Sure, and get him put on the spot. Nuts to you. Chris. Don't be a fool, Terrell. Well, I'm that already. Why make a heel out of me? Well, it'll work out just the same. All we gotta do is wait. He'll show. Okay, Raymond. Andy, I no like to do this. Oh, all right, I'll phone. is not here. Well, now what? Call his office, a private wire. We can wait. Smart girl. Hey, Chris. Yeah? Did you ever read the Decameron? No, who wrote it? One of the Spigs' ancestors. <laughs> and the old time you make funny crack. <laughs> wait a minute. Don't answer that. Well, maybe it's Houston. Let it rain. Keep trying until you do get him. me. I'm home. I don't know. I'm, I'm sick as a fool. Yeah, I've got a... No, on the level, I'm not drunk. I'm sick. I came home about 6.30 and I went right to bed with the hot water bottle. The devil you're talking about. You're in some speakeasy drunk. I'm home, I tell you. And I'm sick. Tell him to call you back and see. If you don't believe me, call me back. satisfied. Why don't you go to sleep? No, honest. I'm so weak, I'm about to pass out. I can hardly hold a phone. Oh, well, 